We're focusing on how to help people live healthier and longer lives with two different areas of more specific focus. One is on healthy aging, where we're trying to encourage uh, and figure out how to help people who may be exhibiting some early signs of cognitive issues, uh, both detect those issues early enough and then slow them down using technology. And the other area we're looking at is the microbiome and its relationship with cognition. So one of the biggest challenges is that most people, when you ask them, would like to remain in their homes as long as possible. In fact, the current statistic is about 90% of the people would like to stay. However, unfortunately, about 70% of people end up, in fact, needing assisted living, largely due to issues related to cognitive uh, changes that happen as we age. So it turns out that today we have the chance, because of uh, developments in Internet of Things technology and in machine learning, to actually detect these changes early enough to be able to design interventions that would help slow them down and enable people to stay in their homes as long as possible. The value of collaboration between IBM and UCSD is really amazing because IBM has incredible technology related to AI in IBM Watson. They also have a large business unit that actually works already in this space and has an amazing array of products. On our end, we'll be providing the know-how and the expertise needed to develop a whole new set of products going forward. So IBM is a big company that will be very good at deploying those products at scale. I researched this area because I find it incredibly motivating to be able to make a difference in older people's lives. All of us are going to get older and I have a grandfather who is 98 who I think would really benefit from a lot of the technology we aim to develop and I sincerely hope that he'll be around five years from now when our work is mature so that I can actually give it to him to use.